Okay, in uh, my final video before I'm going to watch uh, Winnipeg and Vegas. Um, you can decide who I'm crossing my fingers for. doesn't matter. Uh, let's talk about a, an underdog story of its own. So we're talking about how Winnipeg and, and Vegas, who are playing as I'm recording this, are two teams that at the start of the year nobody would have expected in the Western Conference Final. Nobody expected Minnesota in any kind of final going into the playoffs. They were fourth in the division. They had 27 wins, 39 losses, 14 ties. They were bad. During the regular season, they were bad. And it's funny because their their big trade during the season was made December 11th of 1990. They picked up Chris Dahlquist and Jim Johnson for Larry Murphy and Peter Taglianetti. You're welcome, Pittsburgh. Everybody makes a big deal about how the Penguins won the Stanley Cup after they got Ron Francis. Getting Larry Murphy and Peter Taglianetti on that blue line helped a lot. A lot. And those guys helped knock out my Bruins in 91 as well. So thanks, Minnesota. But Minnesota is one of those weird things where in 81 they make that run to the Stanley Cup final as an underdog. 91 they do the same thing. In between, Minnesota kind of meandered. Uh, they had some good regular seasons with crappy postseasons. They had some half decent postseasons which followed crappy regular seasons. This was a crappy regular season. And then they went on this run. And this is where division playoffs are fun. Because it didn't show this year. But every now and then you have those ones where because they're familiar with division rivals, they know how to beat them. First round, they're against Chicago. Chicago had 105 points. Minnesota had 68. They beat Chicago 4-3 in Game 1. They lost Game 2, 5-2. They lost Game 3, 6-5. I was a big Minnesota fan at the time. I was anticipating them being out. Then they win the next three games, 3-1, three 6 nothing, and 3-1. to one. And in that series upset over Chicago, first off, I'm losing my mind because Minnesota's doing something, and John Casey's becoming one of my favorite goaltenders. Uh, John Casey, one of the underrated goaltenders of that era, um, could be a big game guy. The problem was consistency with him. St. Louis in the second round, they win game one, 2-1. Two they lose game two, 5-2. to two. They win game three, eight, five to one. And this is where you start looking as a fan going, what are these guys doing? St. Louis wasn't far behind Chicago. St. Louis was a much better regular season team than Minnesota, and Minnesota was beating them. Um, they win game four, eight to four. So that's a swarming offense there. Uh, they lose game five, uh, four to two which makes it a three to two series but they win game six at home three to two so game six at home game six at home then they go against edmonton now of course i at this point i can't stand edmonton they just won the stanley cup in 1990 they fall into a 500 record but somehow they beat calgary and then they beat la because of course they did because they're the oilers so now they're up against minnesota they've got home ice which they didn't have against calgary or la and i'm angry as a as a star's Minnesota North Stars fan before this series even starts. Um, in Edmonton, Minnesota wins game one, three to one. And and shock. Shock is the only way to describe how I felt. Um, this was my graduation year in high school, and uh, I was watching Boston and Minnesota perhaps meeting each other. Pittsburgh would knock Boston out. You see, you see a theme here? And this is the thing. This is where Penguins fans are like, why do you hate Pittsburgh so much? This is kind of it. So uh, Minnesota loses game two, 7-2 to two to Edmonton. And my my anger towards Edmonton just overflows at that point. Like, stupid Oilers, you're going to win. You're going to have the Oilers and Boston in the final again. Remember, the Boston Bruins are playing Pittsburgh in this 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 go-around. Um Minnesota wins at home 7-3 to and 5-1 to to take a 3-1 to series lead. And then they win game 5 in Edmonton 3-2. to So to sum up, the Minnesota North Stars have home ice in nothing. Nothing. And all they do is win. And they win regularly. And, and they're beating teams that nobody gives them a chance against, whether it's Chicago, St. Louis, or Edmonton. Finals. Pittsburgh. Uh, they win game one, five to four. Yeah, uh, they win game one, five to four. And the Minnesota North Star kid in me 
The one that had watched them fail in the first Stanley Cup final against the Islanders starts thinking, holy crap, they're going to win. They're going to be the first sub-500 team to win the Stanley Cup in ages. And Minnesota and Pittsburgh were the first team since the 30s, I think it was, where you had two teams in the Stanley Cup final that had never won the Stanley Cup. Uh, they lose game two, four to one. They win game three, three to one. So here I am, like, they're up two games to one. This is it. Minnesota's going to win this. Uh, they lose five to three in game four. Minnesota loses game five, six to four. And every highlight reel goal of Mario Lemieux happens in game six. Um, that goal Mario Lemieux gets where he sneaks around, you see John Casey, uh, it was 8 nothing win for, for Pittsburgh. That goal didn't mean anything. It's a beautiful goal, but it was during an absolute slaughter of the Minnesota North Stars. It was like somebody showed them the record before the game and went, you know, you guys don't belong here. And they're like, oh crap, we don't belong here. What are we going to do? And, uh, you know, uh, Mario Lemieux gets that huge highlight reel goal that has been played forever since then and as a north stars fan i hated it then i swore at the tv when it happened and i still kind of do now um so yeah i was not a pittsburgh fan before that series and i came out of that series as less of a pittsburgh fan because i just watched them beat boston and now i got to watch them beat minnesota too and if pittsburgh could have somehow come over and beaten vancouver um in said playoffs i think they would have done that too um Great series, though. It was. Uh, Bellows leads the way. 10 goals and 19 assists for 29 points. Dave Gagne, 12 goals and 15 assists for him. Brian Propp. So he had been in, in Boston. Now he's in Minnesota. And he puts up 8 goals and 15 assists. Now you might understand why I love Brian Propp. He takes Boston to the final. And he's like, all right, I'll take Minnesota to the final, too. Uh, Neil Broughton, 9 goals and 13 assists. It's criminal. He wasn't a part of the 1999 team that finally won a Stanley Cup in Dallas. Uh, Mike Medano, 8 goals and 12 assists. He was not yet the Mike Medano he would become later. If he had been, who knows how that series might have worked out with Pittsburgh. Uh, Bobby Smith, 8 goals and 8 assists. They got him for a 4th round draft pick from Montreal. So he had been nothing but a winner for Montreal and he came over and, and helped Minnesota as well. Kind of a forgotten guy. Stu Gavin, 3 goals and 10 assists. J uh, uh, Mark Tenorti, 5 goals and 6 assists. Alf Dahlin. Two goals and eight assists. Brian Glynn, two goals and six assists. Uh, Chris Dahlquist, one goal and six assists. He who came over from Pittsburgh in the Pittsburgh trade. And Sean Chambers with seven assists. And Casey, 14 and seven in the playoffs. 3.04 goals against, 893 save percentage. His goals against and save percentage got the living crap beat out of them by, by the Pittsburgh Penguins over those last two games. Uh, Casey was, was fantastic during those playoffs. Those last two games, the floodgates opened and Minnesota was overwhelmed. Uh, it was an incredible run, though. This is this is one of my favorite Cinderella runs. And you'll notice, for people who are looking at, you know, I've got the Stanley Cup Champion Series that I did last summer. You look at the Stanley Cup Finalist Series, there's a lot of teams I cheer for in the finalists, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah, there are. And, um, yeah. Um, the Minnesota North Stars uh, that year... They underachieved in the regular season, they overachieved in the postseason, and in the end, they just didn't have enough to beat Pittsburgh because I don't know that anybody would have that year. So there you go. Minnesota North Stars 1991, Stanley Cup finalists. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.